we move over to the arithmetic progression specifically to arithmetic progression so here we have the formula of course the two major formula that is tn which is a plus n minus 1 into d and of course sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d these two major formulae and of course for the progression itself it is going to be a a plus d a plus 2d and so on and so forth a plus 3d and so on and so forth then finding the term it's going to be used this particular formula arithmetic mean now whenever three terms are in an in an ap arithmetic progression we say that the middle term is the arithmetic mean of the other two say for example 2 4 and 6 2, 4, 6, and 8. So, if you consider these three, this is called the arithmetic mean of the extremes 2 and 6, which in simple words is nothing but the average. It's nothing but the average. If you see 2 plus 6, 8 by 2 is 4. Similarly, if you consider these three, 4, 6, and 8, 6 is the arithmetic mean of 4 and 8. So, 4 plus 8, 12 by 2 is 6. So, whenever three terms are in AP, middle term is called the arithmetic mean of the extremes, right? So, this is something we have to understand. So, the concept of arithmetic mean arises whenever we have been given an arithmetic progression. Also, remember one more very important thing in case certain cases D can be negative, although we call it progression, it's actually more like a regression. Say, for example, you have to pay some amount every month to clear off your loan, and every month the amount that you pay reduces by 50%. So, in that case, D would be negative minus 50. Say, every month the, I'm sorry the amount reduces by 50 rupees. So, in that case, the amount is not increasing, it reduces. So, we take D as minus 50 in that case, right? Then sum of AP, we did, of course, this formula that we have here, that is Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into 2. And remember one more formula, just as per our ease, is going to be T1, the first term plus the last term, right? Then sum of natural numbers. So we have a few first few natural numbers. So what will be their sum? Their sum will turn out to be n into n plus 1 upon 2. Then we'll be taking up miscellaneous problems based on arithmetic progression. So we shall be covering using these formulae off and on so that you really are able to get it into your system. So let's go directly into it.